Clinic from Dr. J. Julius Irving so far. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. And so in the game for the Jazz, John Stockton out there with Jeremy Lamb, and it's Rudy Gobert. Then there's Kyle Anderson, and it's Malone in at the four. Gets it to go from John beyond Stockton. the arc. Stockton's got nine. He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. And there's the pass to Reddick. Irving surveying the floor. Pass to Chamberlain. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Jazz trail by 12. And Lamb kicks to Stockton. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third and stolen by Irving. It's Barrett on the wing. Passes to Reddick. Three-pointer. That one doesn't go. And Utah the other way now. Stockton outside. Malone a screen on Barrett. Stockton, no good. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Barrett kicks to Bialit. Pass to Chamberlain. In the corner, Barrett with it. Over Anderson. And Barrett gets it to go. And the 76ers lead by 14. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Five on the clock. Now the pass to Gobert. And here's Anderson from the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Chamberlain got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Irving against Stockton. And Belhita has it in the corner. Chamberlain, the pass to Irving. Chamberlain with a screen on Stockton. And Irving throws it down. And of all the attributes, one thing that sometimes gets overlooked with Chamberlain is the court vision. Makes a great read there. And a wide open look for Lamb. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. Stockton's got four assists in the game. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. And Reddick kicks to Irving to come right back with the three of his own but it's no good lamb passes to stockton malone is doubled here's lamb off target with his three and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there but they can't count on him to continue missing that's to chamberlain good nice job down low chamberlain got 14 points and matador defense that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And one of the most prolific scorers you'll find. We'll keep finding ways to raise the bar as evidenced by his output here tonight. Malone, Chamberlain with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Here's Lamb. He's got five. Malone kicks to Anderson. Passes it to Lamb. Malone right side. Just five to shoot. And Lamb with the basket on the assist by Malone. Lamb's got five points now in the quarter. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. And your And it's the 76ers with the ball. Outside, Reddick kicks to Barrett. 
Pass to Irving. There's the foul. Yeah, it's on foul. Jeremy Lamb. Jeremy Lamb. That's his first That's foul. His first and first back foul. in the day, Greg, Allen first Iverson got foul. criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of games. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at the unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best player. Riggins is checked in for Barrett. And a switcher also for Utah. Nunnally's checked in. Outside Irving. He feeds it to Chamberlain. Basket good. Chamberlain got six here in this quarter. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Wiggins against Stockton. There's the pass to Malone. Chamberlain with the block. And he recovers it. Irving passes to Bialic. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Kyle Anderson. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the 76ers. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. And also, the ball hawking. The way they've come up with the steals, the way they've harassed the ball handler all day, forcing mistakes, they've really done a nice job of taking advantage. First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Jazz trail by 21. Stockton outside. Pass to Nunley. Al Malone. Shoots over Chamberlain. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by the 76ers. Wiggins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Reddick with the bucket. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Here we go, his second day from beyond the arc in the second half after having no such luck in the first. Pass to Irving. No bear with the block. Here's Nunley. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Stockton outside, and J.J. Redick JJ picks up the foul. Reddick. That is his That's first his first foul of the game. Foul. First team foul. Anderson outside. Six to shoot. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. The three-pointer no good. Good defense from J.J. He competes out there, and that's what you love to see. Outside Irving. Back to Redick for the three. The rebound by the Jams. Pass to Malone. The Jazz working the ball around now. Jazz back. Carl Malone. Some changes That's for Philadelphia. Brendan Haywood each checked in for Bielitsa. Collins comes in for J.J. Redden. For and jazz. Free subbed in for Irving. Collins against Stockton. The pass to Free. To the inside. Chamberlain. From down in the low post. It goes. Chamberlain got eight points here in this quarter. One sign of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. 
Wiggins against Stockton. Over to the left wing. Pass to Fry. He kicks to Lewis. Here's Stockton. Clock at four. Driving inside. And Haywood pulls it down. Haywood's got six rebounds now in the game. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments, and I'm their voice. Kevin? All right, David. Thank you very much. Stockton against Wiggins. Stockton dishes to Fry. That's good from Allen on the assist from Channing Fry. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Free passes to Wiggins. A three-pointer off the mark. The Jazz on offense. Fades back, and the shot goes in. Lewis has got nine. Grayson Allen. Philadelphia leading by 21. Chamberlain a screen. Free passes to Chamberlain. And Chamberlain with the stuff. And that's just too easy. The size, strength, length. No way to stop Chamberlain once he gets the ball in that close. Passes it to Lewis. Over Collins. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Philadelphia. At the on the night, the he's jazz. gone two for two at the strike. Rashad and on the season, he's just two a shots. shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. Bowl. He's checked in for Chamberlain. And he's good on the second. Philadelphia with the ball. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Two he would give you the ball. Two minutes. Pass to Wiggins. Now Collins. Misses the three. Wiggins against Lewis. Now the pass to Allen. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Allen's got four points in the quarter. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Haywood dishes to Collins. A minute 20 left here in the third quarter. Lock at six. Driving in. Lynn with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lynn. Here's free. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Pass to Giddy. And here is Lewis. Here he goes. And stolen by Bull. Wiggins surveying the floor. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Wiggins has got his second bucket of the game to go. And flashing some real toughness inside. Wiggins can finish plays that others simply can't. Down low. With the fadeaway. And again at Utah. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's free. Buries it down low. 
And that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Allen outside. Passes it to Giddy. Over Collins. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. Their defense has been active and effective. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already He's out of hand. They've got Haywood. Hole is out there with Barrett. Then it's Collins, and it's free at the point. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Now, here's Bull. Outside Collins. Free passes to Haywood. Five to shoot. For three, Barrett. Rebound by Azabuki. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Allen with it. Now Bull defending. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Barrett. Unable to get that one. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Allen passes to Giddy. Allen surveying the D. Pass to Lewis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first. That one is on bolt. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the playing tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons. And you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch. But Shooting two. it's a long season. And for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. The free throw drops for Lewis. The 76ers making a switch here. Chamberlain's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. And that one's good by Chamberlain. Chamberlain got 12 points here in the second half. Man, that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Shot from 12. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. The offensive rebound to the left side wing. Free can't get it to go. Jazz trail by 20. Here's Giddy. Allen outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He has to show real leadership out there and take this game into his own hands because he's shooting the ball well. Barrett against Lewis. Now, here's Barrett. Defense right on him. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Utah Jazz. On Tuesday, they'll head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. Then on Thursday, they head out on the road and face the Mavericks in Dallas. And for that matchup with the Pelicans, the with that's the going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Here's Giddy. Inside, here's Azabuki, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. 
Collins passes to free to the paint. They double team Chamberlain. Barrett against Lewis. Just four to shoot. Barrett dishes to Collins. Here's Giddy. He's guarded by Collins. Giddy the pass to Malone. Here's Barrett. Chamberlain trying to get open. Yeah. And the call on the shot That's sends him to the line. First, foul. first team foul. The, the energy Barrett plays what puts the defenders the on yeah. their heels. He, he's okay. really good at forcing Barrett. the opposition's Taking hand. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Philadelphia. Bialica, who's checked in for bowl. Reddick comes in for Collins. And Irving subbed in for free. He's off on the second. Jazz trail by 16. Bullock. And there's another one for the Jam. The playmaking ability of Kyle Anderson combines great floor vision with his height and feel. Stockton against Reddick. The pass to Irving from downtown. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds here tonight. He's going to have to wait to hit his first triple of this half. He had three at the break. Anderson against Barrett. Pass to Gobert. Stockton outside. Wow, through the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. That's on Julius Irving. Shooting for Utah, John Stockton. At the line for three. Three shots. Three shots. Free throw good, Stockton. Stockton, just a remarkable point guard. Lights out shooter and an even better distributor. And he sinks the second. the third yeah and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half passes to Chamberlain outside Reddick fires from deep yes and an ice assist from Chamberlain and the 76ers lead by 14 Anderson outside Gobert and slam dunk Gobert. by Gobert. On the boards, Gobert is unstoppable, easily winning himself a second chance look. Reddick for three. Utah with the rebound. Anderson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Bullock kicks to Stockton. Shoots over Reddick. Stockton can't get it to go. The 76ers leading by 12. Reddick is in the corner. Outside Irving. Chamberlain, the pass to Bialic, trains it from beyond the arc. A late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage, throws their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Three-pointer from Stockton. And John Utah, Stockton. another three. Four, three. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Outside Irving. Gobert with the block. 
controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Jazz trail by 14. Anderson outside. To the middle. Yeah, it's stolen by Barrett. Pass to Irving. Looking for Chamberlain. He gets it there. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. He takes advantage of him in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal and then bang, straight to the button. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And it's sent back by Irving. And not many guys Irving's size are this good at blocking shots. Takes incredible timing and athleticism. Barrett for three. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got six assists in the game. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Alone a screen on Irving. And Stockton, here we go. Some solid defense from Chamberlain. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Outside, Reddick. And it's off from three-point range. Stockton outside. And here's Bullock. Feeds to Malone. Over Chamberlain. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Reddick with it. And now by Anderson. And there's the pass to Irving. Reddick up top. Defended by Anderson. Reddick passes to Chamberlain. You gotta stay honest on Reddick's shot when he gets a screen, which is why he finds his teammates open thanks to additional space. Jazz trail by 21. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Stocked in from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Stockton's got 15 points in just the second half. And he's caught fire from long range here in the second half. And now we present our new balance player of the game. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. At the line for your Sixers, Will Chamberlain. At the line for two. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Wiggins against Stockton. Malone a screen on Wiggins. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Irving passes to Wiggins. Chamberlain a screen. Wiggins kicks to Irving. Shot clock at six. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now That's looks like it's going in. Third team foul. Chamberlain no good on the free throw. Jazz trail by 19. Stockton right side. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. That's his second. And that's an example foul. of playing big, adapting At the to the situation. The and I'm going to give him a lot John of credit Stockton. because he saw what he, he was won. up against and he was undeterred. Here's Irving. Outside, Reddick. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his eighth assist in the game. It's fun to watch Reddick when he gets going. It's like the ball is self-guided to find the net. Outside, Lamb. Kicks it to Gobert. 
Here's Stockton. Be really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. 156 left to play here in the fourth. Irving passes to Wiggins. Chamberlain a screen. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Outside Irving. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Jazz trail by 19. Lewis right side. Lamb. The Jazz again can't hit it. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Chamberlain a screen. Back to Redick. Beyond the arc. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's his second personal foul. Redick is a master at getting to the line, finding ways to fool the defense and getting them to bite. Steve, you played four years at Michigan State with all the changes, including pro options for the top prospects. Do you worry at all about the college game? No, I don't worry about it. In some ways, having more players who stick around is a good thing, but I love the opportunity these young guys are getting. Continuity can lead to beautiful basketball. They just have to make adjustments. And he makes all three. J.J. Redick, the former Blue Devil, has really developed into one of the game's most deadliest shooters. Outside, Lamb. 59 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Lewis. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Outside Irving. Pass to Wiggins. To the paint. Here's Chamberlain. That falls. Nice Whoa. feed that time from Wiggins. Chamberlain got 35. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Here's Malone. Chamberlain with the block. And he gets it back. Irving against Lewis. Irving with it. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you gotta commit.